I really liked... Did you like the original uh, Charlie and the Chocolate Factory or the Johnny Depp one better? Original. I like the Johnny Depp one better. Yeah. And I love the original, too. Did you grow up with the Johnny Depp one? I grew up with both. Okay. You know, I... the, the Johnny Depp one came out kind of around the same time that I watched the original. Mm -hmm. I mean, I watched the original first, but, you know, they kind of came out around, or that one came out around the same time. So I kind of grew up watching both of them. See, I never really, I never really grew up with the Johnny Depp one. Um, but what I will say is I don't like some of the character redesigns in that. Like, I don't. I don't really think he looks at all like the original. Well, he doesn't have to. He's his own. He's he doesn't own have to, but I didn't think this story needed a reboot. Ever. Yeah. I mean, it's just a fairly simple one-off story. They never even um, adapted the sequel to it, though. You know, there's a sequel book. Yeah, right. They never adapted that. So I'm like, well, why are we adapting, you know, okay. Well, what the heck? Why are we adapting this movie again? Yeah. And we're not doing the sequel. And now <clears throat> again, by the way, same with Wonka. So this is not just a Johnny Depp criticism, because I love Johnny Depp. But when it comes down to it, I'm like, does Wonka need a reboot again or like a prequel or whatever? Not to me. Well, that's, that's what I find kind of weird is why do we need a prequel of this? But I'm saying that too with that, that other one Charlie and the Chocolate Factory is not a movie that really ages it doesn't have much special effects it doesn't really need you know you, we're not talking about like oh we made a Transformers live action movie in 1990 wow this looks like ass now we need to redo <laughs> right. it yeah we're not talking about that we're not talking about like the 80 or 70s or 80s Captain America low budget film here we're talking about a just standalone movie like to me this would be like randomly remaking like the Green Mile, or well, randomly or remaking like, uh, the Shining, Wizard of Oz, or, something. or Wizard of Oz. Why do we need to do this? Yeah, like these are not movies that require updated special effects. They don't require updated acting. Yeah. So to me, when the Johnny Depp one was coming out, it always to me, I understand everything in life is unnecessary when it comes to entertainment, mm -hmm. but it always felt to me like extreme. What am I stuck on? I'm an idiot. You're stuck on a fence. It always felt extremely unnecessary to me. That doesn't make it bad. I understand that. It's just that I think that was always a little off-putting to me as, like, for the concept of the movie was, hey, I don't feel like I care. Yeah. I just don't care. And that's probably my problem with Wonka, too, is I actually thought a lot of stuff from it looks fun, like mm -hmm. the songs and stuff, but I'm kind of sitting here like, but I don't care that much. And you know, that's why I haven't gone out of my way to watch it yet. Yeah. I mean, I, I, I plan on getting it. I will watch it I'd like to have them all. But. Yeah. But, like, would you like a reboot of Jaws? I wouldn't. This is just me. Like, I, I just don't think everything needs a reboot. Like, there's a lot of those classic movies that just work the way they are. And some, I think, you can keep rebooting forever. Like, Spider-Man stories. There's all these different ways to tell it. But how many different ways are there to tell Charlie and the Chocolate Factory? Right. I just don't... I mean, I, I agree. I don't care. I guess I just really like the Johnny Depp one, so I guess right, and that's like, fine. I understand, but I, I did like that one a lot. And that's that's totally fine. I'm just telling you, like, because you asked which one I, I like more yeah. and, and kind of why. I think that would be my... I do why. agree that the, the original is just, like, the classic. And I don't think any of them will ever beat the classic, you know? But that doesn't mean you like the classic more. Exactly. Well, and also, you can you can also find something <clears throat> to be a better movie, but enjoy something else more. Yeah, right. Like, I think, um... Why is know, there? There's plenty of classic movies that are really well written, but I enjoy a modern movie more than it. Right. You know, I think uh, Captain America, the first Avenger, is a better written movie probably than No Way Home. But I like No Way Home more. Yeah. I think it's more fun. That's like one of my favorite MCU movies. Yeah. And so, I, I, I do get what you're saying. I'm not coming at this from like a film snob perspective of like, well, this isn't The Shining. Bad. <laughs> but that that's another movie too where I'm like, I would never really want to see that remade. No. You want to build on it like Dr. Sleep? Love it. Well, yeah. Totally down Cause for then, that. Because they didn't, you know, take away from the original. They added to it. Yeah. And you can still enjoy the original on its own. And that's why I guess I would have liked to see, you know, what if what if they did this? What if they had the Johnny Depp, Charlie and the Chocolate Factory movie, but what if they made it as like a sequel and Johnny Depp played the original Charlie, but now he's older? That would have been amazing. See, yeah, that would have been awesome. And then now maybe he's like a little goofier, you know, because he's spending his life in... Did you hear that, by the way? That was Santa that flies over for the airstrike. Oh, I was wondering what that was, Which I, I'll have to look if That's I get cool. it again. I'd actually like to replay this map to see if you I can get that again. You have a chopper, you can send it out. 
So, I don't know, and then maybe, like, he's just a little goofier or something like that because, you know, he spent years in this place. Look at the chopper. It has Christmas lights on it. I love that. See, these are the kinds of details that I thought were really cool on this map. They made it a Christmas helicopter. They don't put this kind of attention into COD anymore. No, isn't that awesome? Yeah. That for Winter Crash, they literally did Santa Comes In as the airstrike. I really want to play this one more time to show that. Santa Comes. Uh, oh, yeah. When, I'm, when I airstrike him. <laughs> But then, you know, they have the Christmas helicopter and stuff. Yeah, no, 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 that would have been really cool. Yeah, I, I thought think that, that was a, neat. That was a fan theory for a bit. Yeah. But it wouldn't make any damn sense, because then there's another Charlie. Right. So, I don't know, I guess I just, I think maybe that would have been a little better. And then you could have done, you could have, um, you know, the story obviously would have been a lot different then. You right. have one bullet, by the way. Um, That's all I need. And then what if they did the Timothy Ch Chalamet one? And maybe that was like a prequel to, but in the same universe, because as far as I understand, which I've never seen the movie, so maybe I, I just don't know what I'm talking about here. As far as I understand, this is kind of like a prequel to the general story, isn't it? It's not necessarily a prequel to the Gene Wilder movie specifically. I heard it works for the Gene Wilder movie. Yeah, That's it might, might work kind of like the Bumblebee movie. Like it works as a prequel, mm -hmm. but it doesn't necessarily mean it is. You know what I mean? Right. I mean, I, I think they've kind of left it vague for that one specifically, but I guess... No, I understand what you're saying. I guess to me, I don't really have an interest in watching a random... Okay, wait, wait, let me rephrase that. I do have an interest in watching it, but... You don't I, have a ton of interest. Yeah, I don't have a ton of interest in watching like a random... Re, a random prequel reboot to something that's not one of the other two. After this, could you change a couple of our classes yeah. for your next? Yeah. But yeah, no, I, I agree with you. Um, like, I kind of just wish it was like, hey, this is a prequel to the Gene Wilder movie specifically, and we just said that out front. Well, another one they rebooted is, didn't they reboot Carrie? They did, yeah, with Chloe Grace, or Chloe Grace Moretz. I love her. Mm-hmm. But I think the I think that one was just kind of like fine. Yeah, I just do wonder: do we need a reboot of this? Right. There's a lot of stuff like that. Like, so superheroes, and I get it. Like, oh, you know, this guy just likes superheroes. Sure, guilty. With superheroes, you have stuff like the multiverse. You have stuff like, well, what if this went differently? You know, like, what if this timeline went differently? I like that snowman, by the way. Yeah, there's snowmen and stuff too. I'll try and look around the map a little more. Uh, yeah. There's a Christmas tree here. See that? Mm-hmm. There's Christmas lights everywhere. Um, you know, that to me makes sense. And then especially one of the fun things is, well, and then what if these characters meet each other? Mm -hmm. But like, I don't care about the Gene Wilder, uh, you know, Willy Wonka possibly meeting the Johnny Depp Willy Wonka. Well, I mean, I want a, I want a Johnny Depp multiverse movie. You want like three um, Jokers, but with like Willy Wonka? <laughs> yeah, I do. That'd be awesome. So my point is just... Not that you can't do it. It's just, hey, do we need this? And I think horror is especially guilty of that. Remember how you can jerk off your gun? Yeah. Horror is especially guilty of this. How many unnecessary horror reboots have there been? Like a billion. Uh, a lot, yeah. Like uh, Halloween. What? How'd that guy not hit What the it? heck? Sorry, I'm playing poorly. Yeah, Halloween with the Rob Zombie ones. Yeah. See, or Friday the 13th, didn't that get a reboot? Yeah, it got one with Jared Padalecki. Yeah. It's pretty random, yeah. So yeah, no, I, I think horror is really bad with this. Like, why do we need a trillion Halloween reboots? I mean, even the the sequels, I would say, like, I'm good. You can stop. Well, I, yeah, I guess, you know, and that's why with Halloween specifically, me and you only care about the original and then literally the new, like, series. Like Halloween 2018 and Kills and so on. Yeah. That's all. Like, we don't care about Halloween 2 or anything else. Uh, I mean, you care about more than I do. I don't even enjoy M's. I don't even like it. Yeah. Um, I don't like it at all. Right. But I'm saying that timeline is the one that you care about. Right. Like, but you I'm, don't care about the Halloween 1 and 2 timeline. But I'm also just... I, I agree. I was also just adding, I liked M's so little I didn't even buy it. Right. And I don't think I'm gonna. I know you did. That's cool. I'm not hating on you. So you hate me. I get it. Like, I totally get it. It's just that I don't like it, and I don't want it. And I, I really didn't like that movie. I mean, that's okay. It's okay to have bad opinions. I, I felt like it ruined Michael. It just made him a decrepit old man who didn't do anything after he was a beast <clears throat> in Kills. And that right. really pissed me off. And, like, that Corey ended up not mattering and all this stuff. So my point is, like, to me, 
one, if you're going to do a bunch of reboots, usually I don't care unless it's superhero related. Mm -hmm. And even then, I don't always care. Like right now, I'm hard pressed to care about the new DC Universe reboot. Well, yeah, because we know they're going to reboot it in five minutes. Yeah, <laughs> again? Yeah. yeah. Like, it was, seriously, they're not going to sell well because... What? Okay, I just want to get this airstrike. <laughs> I All I want is this airstrike. Hey, that guy that killed you, it's uh, basically a fan. His name was D. Jen Hart. Oh. He's like a fan of you. His name is just Degan. Oh, God. <laughs> Yeah, no, I, I, do you get what I'm saying? Though? Yeah, because like, we all know that this new reboot stuff is probably not going to sell that well, and then DC's going to get butthurt, and they're going to be like, well, uh... We then need they'll to gun reboot down it. James uh, Gunn. We need to gun down James Gunn, <laughs> and then uh, we need to reboot this, and oh, everyone likes uh, Plastic Man. Why don't we make a... You know, like, why don't we, I like Plastic Man. Why don't we, like, center our universe around him? Like, they're doing with, like, Blue Beetle randomly. They're not centering it around Blue Beetle. No, they are, because that's my fan theory. Okay. That's my argument, and whenever you're angry what? about something, you're always right. Yeah? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> That's what people online are like. They hear fan theories, and they run with it and act like it's true. Let me just lock in here real quick. Okay, I'm thinking dialing. about if I get this, I get to uh, make out with, I'm going to be like n uh, nicer about this, okay. Madison Beer. Oh, okay. All right. Yeah, you're going to dial in right now. Can you make it Bill Cosby? And I'm sure you just get the chopper immediately. I wouldn't even have to get kills for that. <laughs> you just have to go to a bar and you can get some. Oh, damn. Oh, there's a guy down there. <clears throat> nice. Way to dial in. Just need one more. Way to lock in. Do you ever just get into a car accident and then you just realize you have to lock in? Like, you just have to mog to the max because you're going to end up on Instagram reels? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and so I'm just like, Ugh. can't get chatting and all. Yeah. All right, do it in because you're going to have the the guy doing the ho. -ho, -ho. Yeah, but I want to I want to go to the roof so that I can see it. Okay, got it. That's what I'm trying to do. I'm trying okay. to mog my way to victory. You're going right to mog. Now. Can you do some joking up on the roof, too? I was going to edge. Cool. Okay, so let's see if we can see where he comes in from. Okay, here we go. So watch closely. Oh, that was cool. Yeah. It's really fast. Yeah, I saw that. It's really fast. <laughs> but that is Santa. <laughs> Santa is literally dialed in. Right? He's like, I got to get to every kid's house then tonight. <laughs> <laughs> That's Tim Allen in the wrong timeline. <laughs> Dropping the bombs from the sleigh. Here you go. Was there another map or two you wanted to do Let's, before? Yeah, I'll do one more. We'll do one more map. Are there any other celebrities you don't like? Because I have another one. I do feel like there's one that I'm just not, not thinking about. But I can't think of who it is. Tom Cruise. I don't yeah, like, I'm I, not a big fan. I don't like Tom Cruise at all. I think he's no. a fine actor. No. But he, like, he pushes this religion so hard. Um, or like he was always a figurehead of Why does our guy look like he got hit in the head? Go back! <laughs> huh? Who the fuck am I? <laughs> Who are you? Where's my family? <laughs> um, are there any like that are from that DLC? Like broadcast is a DLC is. one. Creek. You wanna pick a DLC one? Maybe Chinatown? Chinatown. I wanna do I want okay, I wanna do Creek. Okay, you do Creek, I'll do Chinatown, then we'll probably be okay. done. All right, uh, we'll, we'll dial in. We'll play uh, Assassin's Creed, but or we'll be done after this one. We'll see. <clears throat> um, I was just gonna say though that with him, like he was the figurehead of a religion that I really am not a fan of. That has been allegedly tied to a lot of wrongdoing, you know, over the years, and pushed, yeah, and pushed a lot of Hollywood actors. Um, he, in my opinion, was very poor to his family mm -hmm. like katie holmes and his daughter and stuff didn't treat them well at all i just think he's kind of a dick i think he's a very successful asshole mm -hmm. and i'm sure he's nice to other people usually but what really sealed it for me was when he had this entire meltdown on set when he was recording during covid do you remember this and he like mm. screamed at people he was like you guys are too close to each other what you're gonna heck? shut down this multi-billion dollar production other companies are looking to us and our success <laughs> and he like screamed at them for like five minutes and it's like bro and meanwhile later on it comes out that the fucking six feet stand six feet away from each other thing was basically made up that there wasn't like actual science behind it that it was just 
the U.S. government, to my understanding, trying to make people feel better. We can't talk about that. Well, I'm talking about it. Well, we can't. Well, I'm this going is criticizing to criticizing Fauci. I'm going to talk about it. Like it was, I wouldn't call it an outright lie, but I would call it like a manipulation of the truth, at least. You know, where it was like this this thing that everybody, all these Hollywood people, bought into. A lot of whom are also bigots, by the way, of their own right, um, in different ways. All these Hollywood people bought into this narrative immediately, and if you said, like, the wrong thing during this, you were, like, a piece of shit uh, conspiracy theorist. Yeah, yeah right. I'm not even, like, the hard, like, the most hardcore, like, I'm not sitting here, like, and by the way, make America great again, and, like, you know, we <laughs> right. need to get to the polls, and, like, we need to build the wall. I'm not, like, saying all this, like, political stuff. Like, what I'm saying is... I find it silly that that was a political discussion ever, and it was turned into one, and guys like Tom Cruise bought into it and pushed the narrative so hard, where anyone else who had any kind of resistance to that narrative was just a conspiracy theorist hater. Yeah, right. And so guys like him really pissed me off because of that. Like, I hate the term stay in your lane, but you are an actor. Your job is to act. Your job is to act, not to commentate on the current state of the world. Well, and, and you that, know. Yeah, that's what a lot of actors do now, like Mark Hamill, Alec Baldwin. Well, like Alec the, Baldwin's too busy firing shots. That's true. <laughs> like, that's that's what uh, that's what they all do. But they, all these they guys all feel have, like they need a political opinions. But everybody has a skeleton in their own closet. Yeah. The one excuse, the one I can think of that maybe doesn't is Mark Hamill, because I do think he's an extremely nice guy. Yeah, right. Um, Although, I was reading about, like, a whole thing with his family that uh, people were saying he tried to encourage his son to have an abortion. Well, that's fine. I'm we, sorry. we love abortions. So that's that's certainly not a great look, um, if that's true. So, I don't know. But Mark Hamill, to me, seems like a very nice guy. And I do love his work. Uh, my point is that uh, a lot of these people, though, they get really invested in this stuff and then later on when it turns out that some of what they were saying wasn't even true it's like well we were doing the best we could with the information we had yeah so were other people right so were other people who were just trying to figure out what was going on who were scared dude the amount of criticism i saw of like black people during that too was insane it's like yeah you know why they're not getting the shot because in the past shots were used to attempt to like harm them or to sterilize them so they couldn't have children. Right. By you. <laughs> like, literally by that, partially by that party. You know what I mean? Yeah, right. So it's like, well, yeah, of course they're not going to be like, yeah, sign me up, put a shot in me. So it's like, there's so much hypocrisy around this stuff. And to me, Tom Cruise encapsulates a lot of that hypocrisy, both political, religious, um, Hollywood and otherwise like he's just kind of a a face that comes to mind for me when i think of who do i think of as a hypocrite who like preaches one thing but in my opinion is a dick to his family and belittles and ridicules other people for trying their best but his best is okay tom cruise that's who i think of oh but top gun is good cool top gun is good you know mm -hmm. you know what else is good some of hitler's paintings <laughs> right. i don't care i still don't like the guy I don't like him, you know? I, I don't have to. Well, yeah, you do. No, I don't. I don't have to like... Just because his work is good doesn't mean I have to like him. I literally just don't watch his movies. Well, yeah, and that, that's always one of the most annoying things ever with people is, you know, the credentials always come out whenever you talk about something. Like, I'll be like, well, I'm not really a big fan of Tom Cruise. He has good movies. Well, yeah, like, he okay, does. Okay, well, fair enough, but, like, I don't have to like the guy. No. I mean, I you will know? say, like, let's say that he was in the best movie ever made. Like, he was in the Citizen Kane of our era, and I refuse to watch it because it's Tom Cruise. I mean, at that point, yeah, sure, I'm missing out. But it's also my choice to do so. Yeah, my if, body, my choice. If I want to. Um, and I don't think I would necessarily do that. Like, I'm not on such a high horse that I'm like, Tom Cruise stepped foot on the same set this movie was made on. <laughs> no, thanks. Tom Cruise <laughs> also watched this movie on his own. No. I will not watch it now. Like, yeah, I'm not insane. Yeah. I'm, I'm just saying, I don't like the guy. I feel like mine are, like, passionate, vehemently disliking someone, and yours are just like, yeah, I don't really care for this guy. <laughs> well, okay, yeah. Well, yeah. <laughs> like, who was yours? Uh, I had Ninja. Oh, I, yeah. I found him kind of obnoxious. Yeah, the truest ninja. 
I find him obnoxious. He's a big old ninja. I... You, wanna use, you wanna use your extract? <laughs> oh no! Uh, oh yeah. Another one I have is, um... Do you think that when he goes outside he's a street ninja? I do, yeah. <laughs> I do. <laughs> what? <laughs> I just thought of another one. What, did it have to do fields? No. Or houses? No, it okay. does not. This one's really mean. Okay, wait. Uh, wait, is this another person you don't like? Yeah, I'm talking celebrities. Lizzo? Okay, okay, I'm going to add another one to my list. I do not like Lizzo. Okay. Like, look, I do not care that you're fat. That's I, unhealthy. I do. That is unhealthy. Stop yeah. Stop trying to weaponize that. Be like, well, no one likes me because, you know, I'm, I'm just uh, fat. It's like, yeah. People don't like you because you're fat and you rub it in everyone's faces all the time and act like, well, how dare you criticize me? It's like, yeah, okay, stop. Uh, Your yeah. entire personality should not be you being fat. Like, I'm just going to say it. No. Anyways. Because I can't think of anything else interesting about her. Yeah, She no, might I... be a nice person in real life. Maybe. I, I guess I don't know. Although I did see a lot of, again, allegations about how she treated her staff. Yeah, I did life. see that too. So, I will also say, it is kind of annoying. Now, I don't care, because the girls who talk about this are younger, so, like, I don't care, because, like, this is not really my age demographic for dating. But I also just kind of find it annoying when, like, there's someone who's, like, just doing their job and everyone's like look how hot this, right. this guy is well that's like the... but i'm sure women feel that way about like sydney sweeney yeah so. well remember like the the target guy whatever that target employee was you can alex from him. target yeah that guy all these like women were flocking to him it's like this guy a guy just working at target he's just a normal guy yeah but again i do the same thing with certain people like sydney sweeney zendaya yeah you know? like there's there's women in hollywood that i think are are gorgeous to me that you know I'm sure, I'm sure that, like, the amount of women, or the amount of men who fawn over them is probably annoying to women. Yeah, well, I... I love this, by the way. This is, like, a rental Yeah, this store. is awesome. Look, anime. That's awesome. A dollar? Oh, there's some guy in there. He was looking, too. He was <laughs> the... trying to find the porno <laughs> section. The only part about that that bothers me, though, about, like, people finding, you know, people hot or something like that... Is for celebrities, I think it's fine because they're a, they are a celebrity. Like you should know what you're getting. Hey, look behind you. There it is. The adult celebrity. You know, because it's like you're a celebrity, you should know what you're getting into, so on. But I think for random people, like the Alex from Target thing, or also there's a recent internet meme like the girl that's the. Have you seen the Hawk Tua girl? No. Okay. This sounds like what's Hawk to us? Is this a Native American thing? No, it became like racist? a. Yeah. Was it? I don't know. I don't know. There was like a, a Southern girl. There's a video that went by. You know, like those people that do interviews of like random people off the street? Uh huh. There was a guy that interviewed this Southern girl and, and she was like, or he was like, what's the secret of keeping like a man or something like that? And she goes, you got to give him that Hawk to and spit on that thing. <laughs> And it became like an internet meme online. <laughs> so now it's like the Hawk to a girl. Anyways, within like... Is she hot? She's kind of hot, actually. But within yeah. like three days, people found like her name, like where she lives, all this stuff. Because it's like, yeah, look at this Hawk girl, like this Hawk to a girl and stuff. And to me, like, that's weird. Yeah. Like, you should not be going viral online because <clears throat> you said something funny in a normal human interaction video. Right. Or, like, you're just working at Target, and some girl found you hot, so they filmed you, and then you became viral online. Right. Like, I just find that kind of invasive to someone's privacy. Uh -huh. You know? Like, maybe you didn't want to go viral online. Whether you're hot or not, maybe you didn't want to go viral online. By the way, did you know that um, Gun Game is in this? I did, yeah. I'm just going to play this for a minute while you talk. Okay. So I don't know. That that's the only part that bothers me. Like, but pe when people find Sydney Sweeney hot or Timothy Chalamet or something like that, I guess part of me is like, well, you're a celebrity. You're in movies. You should probably know what's coming. Right. Me. Right. To you. Exactly. Well, like for example, all right, a little admission time. Okay. When I find a girl really hot who's like in Hollywood, you dox her and find her address. And no, but her. I do sometimes see if she has nudes. Oh. Okay. <laughs> I do sometimes just look. What if they're underage? Then I don't look at them. Oh, okay. Are you I, talking about I, Madison Beer? No. Okay. Is she underage? No, she's not underage, but okay. she was. She had nudes leaked when she was. Oh, I see. Got which it. is pretty awful. I got it. Um, yeah, that's horrible. I don't really know how that happened, and I would say, well, then you know, because I know people always say, well, why'd this person take them? It's like, well, this was a kid. You know, like teenagers and kids don't. I do think there's a difference to me between teenagers and kids. 
Yeah. Uh, but when you're a minor, you don't have the same mental faculties as an adult, right? Right. And I also think it's... I also don't think it it's fair that people can, like, hack into someone's, like, iCloud and stuff like that. No. Like, if I want to take a nude on my phone and just keep it on my phone, I don't think there should be anything wrong with that. Right, and I should be able to take one of you. Exactly. Put it in the spank bank and use it for whatever I want. Exactly. Whenever I want. When when I am above age. Uh, we need to make that clear. Yeah. Uh, well, well, if I met you when we were both underage, though. Yeah, that's true. That's I true. Don't, you know, I don't that know. That's true. Yeah, would that be illegal? Oh, that guy knifed me. That was unnecessary. He took my ni my gun away. <laughs> what if someone... Okay. Why are the computers dicks, too? <laughs> Here, um... Is this where all of Hillary Clinton's emails are? <laughs> right, I was gonna say. <laughs> um, is it illegal if two people were dating in high school and one of them has nudes of their boyfriend or girlfriend from when they were underage and then they got older and got married? Is that still illegal? Because technically it is CP. I don't but know. But they were dating, and at the time, like, they were both underage. They were dating uh, at the time. Do you have this? No. Oh, well, I'm, then... I'm just asking the question. Right, but why? <laughs> oh, no, no, no. <laughs> I don't know. It just popped into my brain. <laughs> like, if two people uh, yeah, went to like, a Christian school, Like, what met... if I have, you know, theoretically, hypothetically... I have, you know, I don't know, nudes of uh, my wife, my wife, she and she's like underage, and nine. I don't know. And what oh, if I keep that? <laughs> I met her when she was sixteen. Um, <laughs> like, no, but I have pictures of her from when she was nine. Yeah, <laughs> just theoretically. I'm just thinking of a scenario. Ooh, did you see that shot? <laughs> no, but is that still illegal? I guess I don't know. I don't know, but you know what? I'm gonna dial in. <laughs> <laughs> You are locked in. <laughs> this actually it removes peripheral distractions. Cool, yeah. You can, so you you can really, more really focus. In. Yeah, hit that guy. Uh, oh, well, dude, it's well the, you need to get more dialed it, in. It had to do with the uh, the wind velocity. You need to mog right now. Just get dialed in. Well, it's that the Coriolis effect is affecting my shots. Got it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> I like when he was like, you need to watch the Coriolis effect. And I, I don't know if it made it in, but one of us was like, what the hell is that? <laughs> <laughs> no, I... Uh, did you ever figure out, by the way, if you have to leave early or not? For uh, softball? I'll leave at 7.30. Okay. So we could be done with this and we could play AC. Yeah, let's be done with that. Let me, let me finish up my, okay. yeah, no. my thing for okay. a few minutes. Yeah, after we got after my, like, my CP justification <laughs> comment there. <laughs> like, why, why was trying, but, like, like, I had it when I was 12. I, hypothetically, hypothetically. You were really trying to make having it work. <laughs> like, but what if it was yeah, like, a but, leap okay. year? Now, let's, let's, let's think about this here. Let's think about it. <laughs> now, what if we, like, I, I don't know. Uh, what, what if, like, I took it? I was overage, but, you know. I, I what took if, the uh, picture. It's like, yeah, oh, but, like, what, what if she, it, like, I don't know. It was my sister. Yeah. Is it? Is it bad? Well, Wait, what bad. if it's like in the family? I don't know. <laughs> like, <laughs> Instead of it's all in the family, you make a show. I'm all in my family. <laughs> I don't know. What if my phone hypothetically was left on the table? And I don't know. Hypothetically, <laughs> she came in and, and put it on my phone of her when she was nine. What in the world? Like the, I, hypothetically, it's not Air my dropped. fault. It's not my fault. Airdrop CP to someone. Yeah, and, and then the and they look me. at it because then they're looking at CP. Wait, what if you're gonna be arrested? Oh, and no. the FBI is outside, so you airdrop CP to the <laughs> FBI's phones, and then they so look then they and they have, oh no, oh no, and then you're like Uno reverse officer. <laughs> now I have to make a citizen's arrest of you. <laughs> Well, you got a double kill there. And then you would get those guys who, like, tried to out, uh, uh, um, EDP to, like, join you on a sting operation. <laughs> if you had, like, the, uh, Predator Hunters, oh, who, no. would, who would be your... Chris Hansen has to be in there. Oh, yeah, 100%. He's has basically the Nick Fury. Exactly. But he's, like, recruiting them. He's like, we have an initiative or whatever. <laughs> We're putting together a team. Yeah, we're putting together a team. <laughs> of remarkable heroes. 
<laughs> Fighting against the pictures we can't look at. We have to have we have to have Punisher in there. Why the Punisher? Yeah, I mean he would he would go after child predators. We talking about that scene from uh, from uh, Daredevil. Yeah, you watched Daredevil season two, right? Yeah, I watched season two. Love it. I didn't watch season three. You know but funny? I saw season two. I don't think I saw season three either. I didn't. Yeah, I, it was always I was gonna watch it, but I never got around. To I it. still am. I'm gonna rewatch. I show. own it. Same. So, wait. No, uh, we don't. They're not. Uh, they didn't make that one. Yeah. Where they didn't print season three. Oh, I thought I own. I thought I got it. Did they not make it? Oh, I guess maybe not. Never mind. No, there was never an official printing. of Okay, season I guess three. I. I guess I thought I got it, but I guess I was wrong. For some reason, I thought they made it. Nice. Oh, you locked in there. I don't know if they ever will. Do you think they will now? I don't think so. Well, but now, now that they're like bringing them back, you know, they'll probably put it on Disney Plus, and then after uh, like five years, did. oh, then we'll wait for like five years, and then they'll make like a random steel book. It'll be a hundred dollars of just season one. <laughs> I bought the steel book for Falcon and the Winter Soldier. I did you too. Were with me, yeah, I did. And the next one, I think I want to guess Wanda. We did get the uh, the official printing of them. Well, I'm going to be coming on some money. I mean, I might okay. be coming into some money because uh, I'm selling some stuff from when my dad passed away. He had a lot of hunting stuff, and my mom and I are taking it to a store. Yeah. And actually, I think my mom's just going to take it. Can you, like, box the store, like, leak the address? Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, it's hours away from me. And, um... Oh, no! Wait, what? wait, they were both in combat, and then they both turned around to shoot at you. Yep. They, they certainly did. I think that, uh... By the way, I do think I can still hang out that day now. I can't. You can't? No, I'm, you... I'm now busy. Well, are you? Did you get called into work or anything? No. Oh, I didn't know if, like, work would ask you. I just you. didn't want to hang out with you. Wait, why is this guy knifing you? Because this guy is vaguely ethnic, have... as Jill would say. Wow. <laughs> hey, wow. Jill said that before. Wow. <laughs> so you had to attack me. <laughs> what did she say that on? I don't remember. <laughs> she said, like, a let's play. Yeah, she just... was like, this guy's vaguely ethnic. <laughs> I was like, what do you mean? Oh, jeez. <laughs> What does that mean? I don't know, but it's really funny. <laughs> Jill, when she learns everyone has an ethnicity and pronouns, what? This person's vaguely ethnic. It's like, well, technically they are. <laughs> Am I lying? Well, yeah, I mean, yes, everyone is ethnic. <laughs> what? Oh. oh, geez. Dude, quick scope that guy. What? Yeah, quick scope him. Wow, you're bad at quick scoping. Wow, you are not locked in. Oh, dude! Yes, I am. You got rid of Rise. Son of Rome? <laughs> My favorite <laughs> Xbox game. What if they made a sequel to that? Would you want that? Yeah, uh, no. <laughs> I wouldn't. What if it was like Rise, son of Homo. Uh, Assyria? Oh. Yeah, that would be cool. And you played as like an Assyrian. <laughs> did you know what I said? No, I did not. Rise, son of Homo. Oh. Like it's a Rome home. Why? Why? I just want to finish the match. What oh, hey, he guy? couldn't do it. He couldn't take it away. Oh. Interesting. <sighs> do you remember that anti bullying thing where it's like, homo, queer? <laughs> and it's like, why like, do people don't talk like, like this? this? <laughs> Who's saying these All right, things? let's get some bullies in here. Okay, everyone's like, homo, queer? <laughs> like, yeah, that's what everyone says. It's like bullies in uh, in movies, or it's like bullies in real life. You're kind of fat, idiot. Bullies in movies. I heard your dad died of AIDS after being molested by 32 <laughs> rabid squirrels. I have videos of it, and I'm going to leak it online. It's always like the most intense thing ever. <laughs> it's like the most insane thing. It's like... I heard your mom got destroyed by a pack of wolves. I have the video. I'm going to post it on Orange YouTube. And now everyone's going to see that you're stupid. <laughs> they have to follow it up with a zero that's not funny, too. <laughs> well, well, I thought that was fun. What a let's play. Oh, this is a good game. I like this game. It's a great game. 10 yeah. out of 10 would game again. Me, too. Actually, I'm really excited now to play uh, uh, MW2. Number two? Yeah, me, too. But when we play that... We might want to make a, a separate playlist in the future and do Spec Ops with it. Okay. Because I love Spec Ops. That would be nice. Have you ever That'd be fun. These? Yeah, I have. I like them. It's interesting. All right, well, thanks for watching. Uh, oh, well, really quick before we go, because I always forget to do this. Uh, not burp.
Yes, that, that's not what it is. I want to very quickly say thank you to our YouTube members on this channel. Okay. So I'm pulling that up. Nate, say something funny real quick. Uh, uh, Fart! <laughs> That wasn't, Poop. No, that, that wasn't funny. Oh, sorry. I thought these. I thought these were like the drop dead funny every time lines that everyone online says. No, I uh, drop a Rizzler line. Uh, okay. Um, I was watching that giat on my skibbity toilet in Ohio, Ooh. just rizzing up Libby Dune like Baby Gronk. Yeah. So I want to say a thank you to some of our uh, our people, our bros, our. Uh, pals. Greg, Greg. <laughs> Basically, you guys are official Gregas, okay? <laughs> Gregas, right. as in like with Sergeant Griggs. Yeah, right. So we like Sergeant you, Griggs. Big thank you to Justin S, Javaris L, Nicholas T, Andy. He's got his. Uh, I, I actually tattooed his name on the bottom of my foot. <laughs> okay. Like well, a Toy Story. Epic. D.A. Blizzard, D.S., and Seth D. Thank you very much. We appreciate all of you. Have a fantastic day. As always, everyone, stay. Shway. That was the default dance. Okay. <laughs> no one can see you defaulting dancing. They just heard you. <laughs>